Hi everyone, Burton's back and with me I bring a new game, March of the Living. It's something I've been playing recently in my downtime while I've been waiting for other videos to render and I've been enjoying it an awful lot so I figured why not share it on the channel. So we're going to start our brand new game. As you can see here there are four possible characters you can begin with. I've yet to unlock the other three so we're going to be starting with good old Greg. Now he starts in his infantry with a revolver, hammer and flashlight so quite basic. Uh, his traits are actually okay, he's a pistol expert, that's going to help us. So he's steadfast and he's decisive. Greg might not be the luckiest man alive but when his mind is made up, there's no dissuading him from his course, he'll stop at nothing when it comes to finding his ex-wife and child. Let's start with good old Greg then. For the past couple of weeks I've been barricaded up in my home trying to get hold of my ex-wife Chloe over the telephone. No one on the other end has ever picked up though, and this has made me worried for both her and my son Tom. She has custody, you see. Even though Chloe and I might not have parted on the best of terms two years ago, I still care about them and want to be sure they're both safe in this post-apocalyptic nightmare. Storing as many supplies as I can realistically carry in my old car, I set out driving over the state border towards their home. Soon enough my vehicle ran out of gas and grinded to a halt. Just before I ditched it, I heard an interesting broadcast over the radio. Survivors in the secured city of Wellston, far to the east, claim to have a ship. They plan it to use Oh, they plan to use it to find a sanctuary offshore. If I can find Chloe and Tom, maybe I can take them there. It's time to start this journey on foot. So first things first, a quest marker has been added to your map. The initial screen is fairly uh, self-explanatory, we've got the day, the time, the destination. Destination's important as when you have a look on the map you have little destination uh, waypoints which are great. That's where we're actually trying to head so we need to figure out which way we want to go. So if I was to pick this destination for example, it would probably come up with about 12 kilometers on there. We'll see how we actually get on shall we. I think we're going to go the top way. Oh my god, I vastly underestimated that. 30 kilometers. as you can see the growls are increasing so that means the likelihood of us running into the infective increases as that does. Now let's hope we'll be okay, it's looking okay, not too bad. I'm just about able to make out a small log cabin in the trees. Let's look through the window, see what we can see. Peer through the window and see an assortment of old tools and spare parts lying around. There are no signs of anyone inside but you do notice some old blood stains on the floor. We're going to go in and search for supplies, we have no choice. Yes, I'll search it. What? I enter the cabin and set about searching for supplies. I walk over to a large cupboard and open the door, to, but to my dismay, an infected leaps out from behind it and begins tearing away his flesh. Bloody infected. Right, we're not going to take any chances. We already have the gun. If we go into manage group. You can see our infantry here. We've also got our character statistics. So, the gun is already there. We can aim at the upper body. Head hit chance is much better than that. Charge time 2.8. Aim at body obviously is a lot less, but I think this is going to be smarter for us to do. As you can see, as they become closer to us, we have a better chance at hitting them. So what we are going to do first, we are going to pull back. And once we are back, we're going to wait. Don't fire, Greg. Don't fire, we need to wait. Any minute now. We're going to wait till we're in the 70s and then we'll go for it. Here we go. Good luck, Greg. That's how it's done. After dealing with the infected, I complete my search of the cabin and find something of use. A crowbar. Okay, I'm not too sure what we're going to be using this for, but that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reload here. If we hover over good old Greg, we can see his fatigues building, as is his hunger as well. So what I am actually going to do, I'm going to rest. And as you can see, that's dropping down quite nicely. We'll wake up as soon as it hits zero, and then maybe we'll have a bite to eat. 
and then we'll carry on with our journey. Excellent. So I think we're pretty much ready to move on. So let's move on to the next one. Much shorter this one. Some blood in the road. After a long trek moving up the mountainside I stumble across an old monastery. Or maybe it's a temple. I'm not entirely sure. One of the monks, a short bald fellow in a thin robe, meets me out front, asking me to come inside and pray. Let's enter the monastery and see. I follow the monk inside the monastery and as soon as I step inside it feels as if you're in another world entirely. Everything has been kept in pristine condition and even um, oh sorry, and each of the other monks you see walking around moves like they have a purpose. That's more than I can say for the vast majority of survivors we encounter these days. You are led into a side room which has a small table for making offerings and a basket filled with fruits. The monk gestures for you to take um, an incense stick and light it and tells you that you're free to eat and stay as long as you wish. Nice. Being in here makes you feel better than you have in a while. You decide to take advantage of the opportunity to rest before heading out on the road again. God bless those monks. After resting and having a nice meal, I return on my journey. In the middle of the night it would appear. Okay, so where next? Do we take the long trek over here? I think we do and then maybe we're going to have to visit the city. This character's infected, damn it. We need to we need to get some medicine. We need to get to the city as quickly as possible, get to the hospital and try and try and save ourselves. As I walk over the crest of the hill, a pack of rotters come in view. Uh, we don't have time to waste, we must take them down. My word, there's a lot of them. Okay, Greg, you can do this. We're gonna have to start shooting them from a far distance as well. So we're gonna waste a lot of bullets. That's one down. Try for the next one. 60% chance. Nice. Come on, Greg. You're getting there. Final one. Nice. Last bullet as well. Let's reload. Excellent. Okay, so now it's time to get into here. We're gonna head straight to the hospital. Not sure if it's going to help us too much, we actually have to try and find a cure or something to help us. We're going to lose one health point per day. So all we can do is try to uh, minimise uh, the loss of these health points each and every day until we find this cure. So um, 40 minutes for 48 or 60 minutes for 54, that kind of makes more sense to me. Let's do the 40 minutes. Excellent, I get a blanket. Great. Uh, anything else we want to try and scavenge here? Um, let's go to drugstore. We're going to have to go for the maximum. Don't have much choice here. And we've run into them. Okay, we're going to fight again. We've got enough bullets, so let's do it. Providing we hit them. Nice, that's one down. Let's go for the second one. Let's go for Freddy Krueger now. Go on, Greg. He's actually really good. Last bullet, Greg. Damn it. Reload. Get out of there, Greg. Get out of there. That should be enough. Ooh, and we get a bandage, so that's going to heal 2 HP, we'll do that, that's going to put us up, that's going to save us about 2 days. Let's reload, we're running out of bullets, so we'll do a quick stop off at the police station. Um, yeah, we'll do this, and then maybe head to a grocery store just in case. Right, so we've got a camcorder, what is a camcorder going to be to us? And we've got bullets. We'll take the camcorder, we might be able to trade it for something. Our fatigue and hunger is actually quite high right now. I'm going to rest in a safe place 
Then we'll head to the grocery store and then we'll try and get out of here. There we go, that's good. I'm not going to go all the way. That's probably going to be enough. So as you can see, it takes a while to wake up. Um, there we go. Right, let's scavenge grocery. I'm not going to bother with the apartments. We do 40 minutes. I don't see the point in spending an extra 20 minutes for the sake of a 5% additional chance. Food rations. Excellent. Do you have a fishing rod? We'll go for the fishing rod. Do we... You know what? We're here. We may as well. I'm only going to do the small 20 minute. We'll have a quick look, see what we can find. Shotgun shells. Okay, not too bad. Right, I think it's time to get out of the city and we'll carry on making our way over this way. We're going to go for the long haul. Can't believe we're infected. This is going to cause us a lot of issues. Okay, what have we got? Well, we could probably deal with this. I'm just debating whether to go uh, melee with it. Let's just see how many we've got. We've only got two. I am going to try. This might be a terrible idea, but uh, we'll give it a good go. We're already infected. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We die? Well, we're as good as dead. One hit. Come on. There we go. And second one, please, Greg. Well done. Okay, so we lost a few hit points there. We lost two hit points, health points. Um, so it could have gone a little bit better for us. I am going to equip the revolver. I just didn't want to waste these bullets. We've only got six left, at least until we find a rifle or a shotgun. Going to eat while we're here. Right, let's continue to travel. Finish off this one. We made it. A survivor limps out from behind a car and notices me standing before them. Hey, I'm hurt pretty badly. I don't want to be any trouble. I just need a little help and I'll be on my way. Puts a little pressure on his leg by accident. His face tenses. Blood soaks the area where the wound is located. Help the man dress his wounds. I'm not sure about this. If it's a bite mark, he's infected as good as me. It's every man for himself. But then again, can I let him go on without helping him? <sighs> Damn it, we're going to have to help. Thank you, I just wanted to stop the bleeding. He rolls up his pant leg and you see a deep cut. Open car door, got me pretty good. But it should be fine if I can stop the bleeding. Splash water on the wounds and wrap cloth around it tightly. His face tenses with pain. Thank you, here's something for your help, it's only fair. Pistol bullets, I'll take that. Well, you know, it pays to be a very good Samaritan. Excellent. Um, right, we are almost at the apartment. We've got a couple more waypoints and we'll be there. This health is really not going well. There's an overturned truck in the road, apparently used to transport exhibits to a wax museum. The contents have long since spilled out and many have melted in the sun. It's a gruesome, a bleak fake sight. However, the wax figures apparently use real props. It might be worth checking them for a weapon. Let's have a look. A few seconds later, I realise I'm not the only one getting up. What? Several of the, wall of the deformed wax dummies are actually real infected. Are you kidding me? Okay. Let's take them out. This one first. How many have we got? Let's create some space. We can't afford to go uh, melee with them again. Only because we don't have the, the health points. We've got six. We can survive six more days. Oh god, we got nothing from that and we lost uh, We lost a few bullets. Oh well, we're back down to what we were before. Hopefully, we'll be able to find Chloe and Tom. Oh, someone dead on the road. So that's not a good sign. Our fatigue's getting up a bit. We'll be able to sleep once we get to the apartment. 
After consulting my map, I make my way over to a small town hoping to find refuge. From a distance, I spot large walls surrounding its boundaries, which give me hope that one more community out there has survived. Alas, it seems as if my hope was for naught. After scaling the wall, I spend a minute observing the premises. The town is filled to the brim with rotters roaming the streets, with nary a human soul to be seen. Maybe they're hiding, biding their time until the infected leave. But I doubt that'll happen for a while. I'm going to walk away from this. We can't afford it. What a shame. Okay. We are almost at the apartment. I get the feeling, though, before we go to the apartment, we're going to go to the town. We're going to have to go to the hospital. Six health points. Yeah, we definitely got to go there. And he's hungry as well, so... Oh, I was going to stop. Uh, let's eat quickly. Um, what do we get? Fatigue, hit chance is minus 10. Okay. Let's be sensible. Let's find a place to rest. Because with us having six bullets left, I don't want us to have any penalties against us. So minus five. Okay. Not too bad. We'll wake up and we'll go to the hospital in a moment. Hopefully we can find something to uh, stem the tide of this infection for now. So to the hospital, we're going to have to go maximum. Hopefully, we're not going to run into a hold or anything like that. And we have. Damn it. Right, we've got a fight. We're going to have to wait. That should be good enough. Come on, Greg, you can do it. You did it, Greg. One more. You need to reload as well, so it's nice for us. You can actually reload when you're walking. I didn't know that. That's good. Let's take him out. Oh, that's not good. Last bullet. Wow. Right, we've got ourselves a first aid kit. So let's just toss a blanket that way. Let's use the first aid kit. Toy hand grenade, fishing rods. I'm not sure what that's going to do for us. We're going to have to take the first aid kit. We don't really have a choice. Okay, let's reload with the one bullet we've got left. I am going to make a quick dash for the police station. Uh, for 40 minutes. We'll see if we can find anything else. Pistol bullets. Thank. Oh, my word. That's good. Okay. So now we've got pistol bullets, we've managed to find some uh, medical supplies which are going to keep us healthy for a little bit of time until we can find a cure. We are one waypoint over from Chloe's apartment. Join us in the next episode and we'll see if her and Tom are still there. Thanks very much guys, see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.